Hello and welcome to extremely powerful capybaras, uh, specifically the training grounds because it's the uh, like free demo slash prologue or whatever available on Steam. So I wanted to give it a shot. It looks like he's going to start with a tutorial. So it is a prologue of the full game, like I just said. So thank you for pointing that out to me. Uh, all right, they've worked really hard in the last couple of months. Doesn't everyone? And okay. I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard, so I have to see how this works. Press space to dash. All right, easy enough. Sit in front of a statue to choose class. Become a powerful bra. Uh, is this a bard? It is a bard. Uh, but I think a spear, a spear guy is right for me. Enter opens chat. Hello to no one. There's no one else here. Uh, talk to me if you want ability upgrades. Sure. Oh. That is not something I can do in this prologue. Also not something I can do in the prologue. I mean, I understand pointing out that kind of stuff, but it's always like one of those things that's kind of like, well, if I'm not going to be able to interact with it, is it, you know, is it really something that I want to see in the demo? Maybe show me all that stuff at the end. Alright, we will create a game. Arena is the choice. Fishy Swamp. And, and begin, perhaps? I like the arena. Oh, wait. select the game type. Okay, yeah, you know, public. Just maybe somebody will join. I don't know. God, this guy is super slow. Without like, super super slow. Without um, this dodge mechanic. That's it's actually like way too slow of a movement for me. But maybe it'll improve. Maybe it'll get like faster. Throw respawn. Whenever Captain Friend is defeated in co-op, Resurrection Zone appears, but uh, be careful. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, cool. Not really going to matter because I am by myself. Maybe somebody will join. Nobody joined. Alright, uh, yeah. So you automatically attack. That's, that's cool. I feel like the sound is really low. I've leveled up. Alright, I can get new stuff. What do we have? Uh... We'll go with this. The Clockwork Launcher. But also, I, I want to change the... Do something for the sound because it's just... Okay, hold to actually confirm. Oh, so I messed up, and I didn't actually select one for my last turn. Oh, man, all right. All right, so this is not really friendly for your keyboard and mouse because you can't really click on anything. It's kind of bad sign there, I think, but... Um, Whatever. Yeah, that volume is really low. Like, I mean, it, it the music is playing, but it is really low. I even turned it up because I felt like it was just way too low. I don't know because like the game knows that I'm streaming, which I doubt it. I don't think that's what's going on right now, but. question at this point is um, does it do anything you haven't already seen for any of the other dozen roguelike survivors like games that I have listed on the channel and outside of it having some capybaras some giant guinea pigs the answer so far it seems to be a no it's still pretty cool it's cute creatures you know the combat is there it works it's does everything you would expect it to do 
So if you're a fan of the genre, you're there's no reason for you not to play this because it's it does everything that you would expect it to do. I think your speed is way too slow. I know I can dash, but dashing is only temporary and it's not like super helpful. I do like that my spear not only attacks, but I can use it to just kind of walk it into the enemies to cause some damage. Uh, so that makes life a little bit easier here. To try to kind of speed this along and... Kill some enemies and make some stuff happen, but... We got some cool fish. I, mean, I think they're piranhas, maybe? Yeah, well, I mean, this is going to be a short video. I don't see the reason to go longer than probably, say, 10 minutes for this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say. Like, I've, I've played this. I'm enjoying it so far. It, um, I mean, it's certainly a survivor's light game. And it's got capybaras in it, which are basically giant guinea pigs. And, uh... I didn't expect today to be spending any time playing as a large guinea pig, but here I am. This is what I'm doing. This is how I'm spending part of my day. And I realize that um, that's not really the ideal situation. I, I should be doing something else. Perhaps. No, I don't know. I, I, I was going to say, I'm not sure if I'm breaking this or not. I don't think this has the same level of, like, feel-good emotions or feelings or rewards that a lot of games like this typically will, will have. So, like, I'm not getting that kind of instant gratification that I would normally get, or the quick gratification for playing a game like this uh, that I've gr grown accustomed to. It bothers me that the sound is so low. I don't understand. Even with like 100% on the volume, it's still so low. But um, whatever. That's kind of how it is. So anyway, this is uh, Extremely Powerful Capybaras. A game about being a capybara and, you know, killing things, collecting stuff, leveling up. That whole, whole, whole thing. So yeah, I mean, it's... It is what it is. It's not really anything that you probably haven't played already. So if you like these types of games, I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, the prologue is free on Steam. I will include a link in the description as always. And you can give it a try for yourself if you like it. If you do play it and you like it. Or you have feelings about the game. Make sure you leave a review for the developers. That's always very helpful. And... Um, yeah, that, that's really it. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw. I hope you uh, give this game a shot and enjoy it if you do play.